Nelson, a bright green frog, leapt from one lily pad to another in the pond, chasing after a dragonfly. Excited laughter bubbled up from him as he caught sight of Ella, a delicate firefly dancing around the water's edge, her luminous wings casting a warm glow over the pond. Ella, come play with me, Nelson called out, his voice echoing through the serene hills that surrounded their home. Ella fluttered over to Nelson with a soft hum, her tiny body pulsing with light. I'd love to, Nelson. Let's see who can catch the most fireflies today, she replied with a giggle, her light flickering in excitement. The two friends spent the day laughing and playing, leaping from rock to rock and exploring the nooks and crannies of the pond. Sometimes they would simply float on the water, basking in the warm sunlight and enjoying the peaceful serenity of their home. As the sun began to sink beneath the horizon, painting the sky in warm hues of orange and pink, Nelson and Ella sat on a lily pad, their hearts filled with contentment. I'm grateful for our friendship, Ella, Nelson said, his voice soft and genuine. Ella nodded, her wings glowing softly in the dimming light. Me too, Nelson. You bring so much joy to my life, she murmured her light pulsing in time with her words. As the stars started to appear in the darkening sky, Nelson and Ella bid each other good night, promising to meet again the next day. With a final hum and a joyful leap, they went their separate ways, their hearts full of the love and friendship they shared in the stillness of the night. The pond was filled with the sound of gentle water lapping against the rocks and the occasional symphony of crickets. Slowly, the moon rose high above the serene hills, casting a silvery glow over the pond and its inhabitants. Nelson nestled into a cosy spot among the reeds and Ella soared through the air, her light leaving a trail of magic behind her. In their dreams, they danced among the shimmering stars, their friendship binding them together in an everlasting embrace. And as the night wore on, the pond lay in peaceful slumber led by the love and friendship of two unlikely companions. The next morning, the pond was alive with the soft symphony of chirping birds and the gentle rustling of leaves. Ella's light flickered as she flitted over the water, searching for her dear friend. Nelson sat atop a large rock, his eyes scanning the surface of the pond, waiting for Ella's familiar glow. Nelson! Ella called out, her voice filled with excitement. Nelson turned and saw her fluttering towards him, her wings shimmering in the golden sunlight. Ella, there you are! I've been waiting for you! He exclaimed, his eyes bright with anticipation. Ella landed gracefully on the rock beside Nelson, her light glowing softly. I have something special to show you today, Nelson. Follow me, she said, her voice tinged with mystery. Curious, Nelson hopped off the rock and followed Ella as she led him through the lush greenery of the pond. They weaved through a grove of fragrant flowers and around a peaceful rock garden until they reached a secluded clearing nestled among the serene hills. What is this place, Ella? Nelson asked, looking around in wonder. This is our secret spot, Nelson, a place where we can share our dreams and make promises under the moonlight, Ella explained, her light casting a warm glow over the clearing. Nelson's eyes widened with amazement. It's beautiful, Ella. I never knew such a place existed, he said, his voice filled with awe. Ella smiled softly, her wings shimmering with an ethereal light. I come here to make wishes and promises, Nelson. I wished for a friend like you, and now I want to make a promise to you, she said, her tone earnest. Nelson tilted his head, a curious look in his eyes. What kind of promise, Ella? Ella's light pulsed gently as she spoke. I promise to always be there for you, to light up your path no matter how dark it gets. I promise to fill your heart with warmth and joy, just as you have done for me, she said, her voice filled with determination. Nelson felt a warmth spreading through his chest and a smile graced his lips. I promise to protect you, Ella and to be the best friend I can be. I promise to always make you laugh and to leap with joy by your side, he vowed, his eyes filled with sincerity. In the quiet clearing, under the gentle rustle of the leaves and the radiant glow of the sun, Nelson and Ella made their promises to each other. 
As the day turned into evening, they returned to their favourite spot on the lily pads, basking in the tranquil beauty of the pond. The moon rose above the serene hills, casting its silvery light over the water, a reminder of the promises made under its gentle gaze. Nelson and Ella exchanged a knowing look, their hearts filled with the strength of their promises and the warmth of their friendship. And as they nestled into their cosy spots for the night, the pond was once again filled with the soft murmurs of water and the distant hum of crickets, a testament to the enduring bond between two unlikely companions. The next day, the sun rose over the serene hills, bathing the pond in a warm golden light. Nelson and Ella eagerly awaited their day of play and adventure, their hearts filled with the promises they had made to each other. Nelson, let's explore the rock garden today. I heard there's a new hiding spot that's perfect for playing hide and seek, Ella suggested, her light shimmering with excitement. Nelson's eyes lit up with joy. That sounds like so much fun, Ella. I can't wait to see the new hiding spot. Race you there, he exclaimed, leaping off the lily pad and bounding towards the rock garden with Ella close behind. The two friends spent the day exploring every nook and cranny of the rock garden, laughing and playing games amidst the cool shadows and the warm sunlight. As the day slowly turned to dusk, they settled on a smooth, flat rock, the evening breeze carrying the sweet scent of flowers through the air. <laughs> Nelson, thank you for always keeping your promise to make me laugh and leap with joy. You bring so much light into my life, Ella said, her voice filled with gratitude. Nelson beamed at Ella, his eyes sparkling with affection. And you, Ella, light up the darkest corners of my heart. You've always been there for me, just like you promised, he replied, his words filled with sincerity. As they watched the sun dip below the horizon, casting the sky in a riot of vibrant colours, Nelson felt a surge of emotion welling up within him. Ella, I want to make a special promise to you, one that will show you just how much you mean to me, he said, his voice soft but resolute. Ella's light pulsed gently, her eyes filled with curiosity. What kind of promise, Nelson? Nelson took a deep breath and looked into Ella's glowing eyes. I promise to show you the most beautiful sight in the world, a sight that will make your light shine even brighter. I promise to take you to the top of the serene hills where we can bask in the glow of the moon and the stars and see the wonders of the world from a new perspective, he vowed his heart brimming with determination. Ella's wings quivered with excitement. Nelson, that sounds amazing. I can't wait to see the world from the top of the serene hills, she exclaimed, her voice filled with joy. Under the gentle moonlight, Nelson and Ella made their way to the top of the serene hills, their hearts filled with anticipation. As they reached the summit, they gazed out at the world below, the pond shimmering in the moonlight, the stars twinkling in the dark sky. Ella's light pulsated with wonder as she took in the breathtaking sight. Nelson, this is truly the most beautiful sight I've ever seen. Thank you for keeping your promise and showing me the world from a new perspective, she said, her voice filled with awe. Nelson smiled at Ella, his heart overflowing with happiness. I'm just happy to see you so full of light and joy, Ella. You deserve all the beauty in the world, he said, his voice filled with love. As they sat together, bathed in the soft glow of the moon and the twinkling stars, Nelson and Ella realized that their promises to each other had only deepened their bond, and their love and friendship would continue to light up the pond for eternity. <laughs>